So really, what is a 3D object? We've been doing this for long enough that there are people that didn't live through the creation of CG, but rather were born into a world where CG animated films and video games were a thing. So if you're just getting started, here's some foundation, how things work on the inside. Before we got to things being so complicated that the explanation for it wouldn't fit inside a really simple video. So what's a 3D object? On its most basic form, a 3D object is an object that lives in a three-dimensional space. The D is for dimension. Think about your geometry class where you had an X and a Y axis and we're just adding a C for depth. It really is that simple. And when it comes to computer graphics, CG is just a representation of that in the computer. Oh, that's a nice mice. Specifically, it usually refers to an object container that has data inside, usually in the form of meshes, shaders, and modifiers. So when you click the Create Cube button, it really does a lot more things. It creates all the components and connects them together. It's really important to know that when you move something around, you're usually moving that container. Yes, the mesh that's inside that container moves with it, but all the translation, rotations, and scales are stored in the container, not in the actual mesh. Which is a little bit confusing, because you can also move the mesh element independent of the container. Each software handles this differently, but there's usually an object mode and an edit mode. In object mode is where you have the container information, and then on edit mode is where you have the mesh information. There are dozens of data types, mesh, curves, surfaces, metal balls, text, volumes, grids, pencil, armatures, lattices, empties, images, lights, cameras, all data types, and they all live inside an object container, which is the same for all of these mesh types. Going through each of the mesh types this is beyond the scope of this video, but I want to talk about polygons, which is a mesh type that has components. Polygons are made out of points, edges, and faces. There are some software packages where you'll find that vertices and points are a different thing. I'm looking at you, Houdini. But let's keep it simple. The first unit of a polygon is a point. Points live in the object container, and that lives in the 3D space. That's where you get object space and world space. World space refers to defining the position of a point in regards to the world, and object space to the object. Think of it as explaining to someone where your phone is in relationship to the room or the table. World space and object space. The only difference is you do it with coordinates. Points can be inside of mesh without being connected to anything else. In fact, there's a very popular kind of data called point clouds, and these are just scatter points in 3D space. Points can hold any type of data like color, position, and even the name of a star. Scientists use these all the time to define models of the universe. So we've created a point that's inside a mesh, and this mesh is inside a 3D container. Now we're going to duplicate this point and create a line between it, the first and second one. This is called an edge. Notice how now each of the points has a number on top. This is called the point index. We can also assign a name to the edge and define the edge as the connection between point 1 and 2. Finally, if we create another point and two more edges, we get a face. Which, on itself, can be defined as the connection between points 1, 2, and 3. Now that we have a face, there are a few more elements. The first one is a normal. Normal, which is visualized as an arrow coming out of a face, tells the computer where this polygon is facing in relationship to the camera. This is useful, for example, to know what's the inside and the outside of a box. So, if we start putting faces together, we can quickly assemble any type of shape and where. And now we can know what's the inside and the outside. The last component of our polygonal mesh is going to be what's called a newbie map. Basically, we needed a way to wrap 2D images into 3D objects. The way this looks is like a flattened out version of the 3D object. And then each of the points in the 2D space corresponds to a point in the 3D object. That's what lets us map 2D images into 3D objects. So just to recap, we have points, edges, and faces. Those faces have normals and UBs. And that's pretty much what 3D objects and polygonal meshes are. Just realize that all these things have names and somewhere inside your 3D software, there's a huge spreadsheet with all these things listed with their positions and attributes. And you can do stuff with it. Uh, and create attributes. So if you want to create an attribute called banana, then go ahead and create an attribute called banana.